guys, Rick Shaw here on the Wednesday, the 27th of July, 2022. And we got a beautiful morning. Chickens have been blaring most of the night. One thing I noticed when I was in uh, Maduro, you didn't get any of this uh, chickens screaming all night like they do here. Uh, we're kind of getting used to it, but now that we're back, it, it definitely, I noticed it all, the entire night, every time I woke up, there's them chickens blaring. And it's, it's because of the light. These people who have these chickens, they leave like a security light on, so the chickens holler all night. Whereas when I was in Maduro, they didn't crow till the morning. You, you rarely heard them. Sometimes through the daytime, they would, but it wasn't that often. You didn't have this uh, constant noise going on here. So that's just the way that goes. But I wanted to let you guys know, uh, I set up a, a live for uh, Sunday morning, 6.30 a.m. Philippine time. And I'd kind of like to devote this one to uh, you guys who've been asking me, a bunch of you have been saying, hey, you know, I'd like to get in contact with you. I got some questions for you. You know, we're planning on moving here. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I've had quite a lot of that. It's unbelievable how many lately. Because uh, the mandates might be coming down. People are coming. Some people already got shots in that. And uh, tell you the truth, any of you guys who've been here, uh, Tropical Tim, uh, Mark Rollins, um, Wes is Wes is going to be out. I don't. Uh, he he left. I took him to the airport, uh, not the airport, but the bus station yesterday. So I don't know if he'll be able to chime in where he'll be. But anybody who's been here a while who can give tips to the to new people, new expats wanting to come, uh, join in, guys, if you can, if you got the time, uh, because it it could be pretty helpful for some new guys coming. I would have liked to got a lot of information before I come. I got a little bit there. I didn't didn't even think to look online. You know, I wasn't really doing online when I came here. Uh, it was afterwards that I got the internet. Mainly, I was just working. I didn't mess with that other than email. So, but uh, this could help a lot of folks. And if you guys join in, everybody just come on, join in. Um, the reason I put it on those times of the day, it's a weekend for guys in in America. And the other thing is, uh, there's uh, on, on the uh, YouTube studio, it says the time that the videos are most watched. And it's from 5.30 to 7.30 a.m my time so that's why I usually put it at that time try to get everybody you know I could still catch some guys from California get everybody on the East Coast so that'll really help out but there, there's a lot of guys who've been here uh, check out Tropical Tim's video any of you new guys that want to come he's got a lot of pretty good stuff there's some guys here that do these these videos where everything's just all you know roses you know everything's so wonderful and the women are so good guys you're <laughs> I don't care where you go in this world you're gonna run into troubles of this that and the other and if us guys that have been here uh, can help you out you know one thing here uh, every, I know everybody in America is used to driving okay great you drive here it's a whole nother ball game guys I used to love to drive if I was going anywhere with family or friends I wanted to drive not here yeah <laughs> If I had it all to do over again, I wouldn't have got the car. I'm serious. It's just a royal drag, especially in this area of Lipa, or if you're around Manila, any of the big cities it seems that I've been to. Driving's just a drag. It's, it's no fun at all. And then when we get out to the province, you know, tricycle. A lot of guys ask me, oh, I want to get one of these little uh, three-wheel, three-wheel, uh, closed in trikes kind of like a rickshaw type thing like what I had I had a Piaggio and uh, I tell you this much and we'll, we'll talk about it on Sunday if anybody brings it up I recommend a, a tricycle they're fun to drive you can get them fixed anywhere anything goes wrong with them you can pull over on the side of the road there the guys who fix these things are a dime a dozen you get one of these Piaggio type vehicles you'll be waiting for parts you know <laughs> just all kinds of crap so you're better off with a tricycle uh, I got a tricycle uh, being built right now uh, it's more like a cargo one 
when we get down to uh, Mindoro. Uh, I'm trying to get with this, this foreman down here. And they, I call them these pillows. They dig these places for the pillars where they got their uprights and stuff. Uh, I'm going to get somebody to weld me up a thing to bend the, uh, bend the iron. I can go online and see how to bend these things. Morning. I could, I could go online and see how to bend them to do it properly, and uh, just dig one at a time and concrete them in. And I think I'll do that. The house would be a slow project, but. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need a lot just to make sure, uh, you know, I'm doing it right. I want to get somebody to uh, show me where to post those. I could probably even figure that out. Somebody once told me, they said, oh, you, you know how to build better than a Filipino. I, guys, yeah, I probably could. Uh, from what I got here, from the crap I got here, I already got, I got leaky faucets. I got the t uh, toilet drain upstairs leaking already through the ceiling. They're supposed to fix that. I got bad windows. You know, if anything, you would think a premier company like this would say, you know something, uh, we've been doing this for a long time and these windows are bad, we better stop using these or talk to the company that builds them. They don't do that kind of stuff here. They just keep putting in the same crap windows constantly. I can do better than that. You know, <laughs> I can definitely do better than that. And uh, I look here when they were building here, I got into the Filipino codes on how to do rebar. And uh, our guy here, I was w watching how they do these pillows and how they bend them. There's a certain way these things got to be bent. And I looked at some of these crews, they were bending them wrong. I even brought it to their attention. Hey, look here, here's the code on the phone. And this is wrong, guy. This, this isn't supposed to be this way. That's not bent properly. They didn't care. They, they just keep doing it. There's no inspection. There's none of that stuff. So if, uh, if you're coming here and planning on building, um, you know, get get some help. <laughs> get some get some really good help before you just uh, go right in on something. Morning, fellas. Good morning. But uh, there's so many things that guys that have been here for a long time can help you with, uh, and I sure hope a lot of a lot of guys that are here join in. There's there's quite a few people on the channel that that have been here, uh, and there's. There <laughs> I watch some channels here where the guys are here. You know, some are just sex pets. If that's what you guys want, you know, go go follow those guys. This ain't the channel. We don't do any of that kind of crap here. You know, some of these old guys come here, you know, and they exploit. They'll exploit these young girls. And uh, me, I'm not in. I'm not into any of that kind of stuff or any anything that untowards you might say. I'm um, just a dude trying to live live his life and. Uh, you know, oh, there's a handsome little puppy. Hi, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, don't bark. Hi, baby. You're such a pretty baby. Hello. Well, hello there. Hi, honey. Oh, aren't you a friendly girl? You friendly? Well, good morning. Look at that beautiful baby. Hi, baby. Okay. That's our neighbor's dog. You know, I, that's one thing I want to do here is get uh, friendly with all the dogs around here. Because, you know, when you got a neighbor's dog, we got a guy with a Doberman over here. And it's, he seems friendly. I'm going to stop by every time he's out and pet him so he knows me. We got a guy up on the other end here. He's got a beautiful, uh, it's not a shepherd, I forget what he called it. Uh, beautiful black dog. He's big. I mean, he's great size. Thing has to go close to, close to 100 pounds. And uh, it's antisocial. It's been locked up in this cage. Nobody pets it. I never, I've never see him take it out. I never see him doing anything other than they just bring it food. And the thing's going crazy. If it gets out, it's going to do some serious damage to somebody. And uh, that's one thing, you guys come in here, watch out for the dogs. Uh, I did a video on danger to the Philippines way over a year ago when we were still in Carmona. And that was the one things, one of the things that I thought was the biggest danger here in the Philippines. We could talk about that on Sunday, about the dangers. I don't think this place is any more dangerous than anywhere else I've been. You know, there's places that are even worse than here. Uh, you get into you get into bad situations you're going to, you're going to get bad outcomes you know i don't go to bars i don't do any of that kind of stuff it seems to be trouble um 
that's just that's just how it goes i just watched that dude uh that does the raw facts and he had a thing on there where uh, expats came and murdered their either girlfriends or spouses i just caught some of that this morning and that's that kind of sucks that's you know you don't want to get into situations like that you know a lot, a lot of guys uh, one of the fellows who wants to come here he's been married to his filipina for 20 some years i'm going to be retiring here in the next couple of years you know that that's kind of you know kind of like tropical tim did lived most of his life uh life in the states and then now uh brings his sweetie back to here and they seem to be doing really well so but i'm back at back at the ranch uh i didn't check the water this morning see if i can get a shower but i want to get a good shower this morning we got stuff to do we got to get our grocery shopping done you know even on sunday morning we'll talk about that the best places to shop what to get things you can't get you know since i've been here i've never found cottage cheese i imagine if i went to um manila maybe but one of the places when i was in davao city I, I went to a lot of these big stores and i was just really impressed didn't go to snr though i was really impressed with the um how much stuff the stores had and uh, the one store i was going to giano mall had all kinds of cheeses that i liked i, I love the cheese but i couldn't find cottage cheese there's just certain things heinz 57 can't find it if you come here and you know somebody and they got them billy buying boxes uh you can you can get people to send you stuff um, like shoes i wear size 14 forget it guys you're not finding them uh, some of the places you buy like if you go to lazada you know <laughs> some of these sellers will sell you the wrong stuff make sure if you if you shop on lazada you you uh, read all the comments you know i comment on a lot of stuff that i buy and uh just read the comments and uh, make sure you're not going to get scammed because people will write in there right off the bat most people if it's a good item they won't say anything i do but most people won't but if it's a bad one boy that gets around real quick so but that's just my little morning thing nobody's up in the house but me and and of course my my little shaky my little province dog i think she wants to be a province dog we uh we miss it already <laughs> <laughs> being down there guys man i would love to be back there uh this is a beautiful morning to wake up to this but uh yesterday uh, out of all the business i had to do i had to go to lto uh i did ask the the fellow that we've been talking to i said look i'm getting a tricycle put on my thing uh on my bike do I have to get it registered down in Maduro when I have the tricycle put on or can, do I come back here? And the guy says, look, you just registered it here. Come back here and we'll take care of it because you've already you've already registered. He says, you'll just go in and take the fee. We won't have to smog it or do any of that kind of stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. They remembered us. Of course, I stick out like a sore thumb here. Of course, they'd remember us. And all my running around I did yesterday, uh, I had to go to Land Bank. That went very quick. LTO went quick. I went around looking at the three Yamaha motorcycle dealers to find the mirrors because they came here and broke my mirrors on my Yamaha. And uh, no, it's all it's all ordered, and they they won't sell you just the piece I need. They want to sell me the whole uh, assembly, you know, whole mirror assembly, all the way down to the thing that holds it on. I'm like. You know they do that just to make money i don't know so I, I looked on lazada and i found some some mirrors you got to watch on the yamaha because they got left-handed right-handed threads on the different handlebars uh, it's a right-handed thread on the right one and a left-handed thread on the left one so you have to be careful of that uh, i couldn't find yamaha mirrors that i liked and i found some that were nice for honda but i got the yamaha adapters and that'll raise it up too that'll get my mirror up a little bit better for me which i'm gonna like i got a really nice uh let's see convex mirror that i'm gonna put in the tricycle uh, i'm also gonna have the guy we gotta we gotta talk to him i want to make sure uh we have a place to put the mirror uh you know that i can see really good here you got to have mirrors on on your bike they will stop you for that and give you a ticket if you're missing a mirror or something like that so that's you know you something you got to watch out for and uh they we did notice when we were down in Menduro, uh they just like when i was in uh das marinas 
they stop you if you're a motorcycle rider. They pull over every single motorcycle rider at these police checkpoints and they're checking there they were checking for license and there's a little new buddy we got here they're checking for your license and registration here that's what we were hearing so you want to make sure you got all that stuff in order and uh they impound you know they have trucks they pull these dang trucks up and they impound these bikes right and left and a lot of people get it for not having a license they'll borrow their friend's bike uh, me i was never into loaning things like people want to borrow your tools you know, when I was here, I was looking at some of the some of the tools, and they're just incredibly beat up. And you know, I hate the idea of loaning stuff out. I think if somebody really wants to borrow a tool, I don't want to be a dick or anything, but I'll go over and use it. I don't want somebody taking a, a wrench on an old rusty bolt with a big mallet and beating on it and ruining my wrench. I loaned here when I first got here, and you give the guy a. a a set of sockets that have everything in their individual hole and he gives it back and there's three pieces missing and says oh those weren't there <laughs> yes they were and this is what you get here you know they see those tools and say oh I, i'm going to need that later those are the three i used i'm going to need that so they just give you give it back to you and they don't give you the ones you want and then swear up and down no it wasn't in there you didn't give it to me you know so <laughs> i wouldn't recommend loaning tools here uh, tools here are abused by a lot of a lot of guys you know you got everybody here is a mechanic and uh you know they everybody here is an electrician everybody here is a plumber everybody's here is a mason <laughs> you know so you gotta gotta really be careful so but like i said uh, a little bit ago i'm gonna let you go this is a fantastic morning i'm gonna start getting the kids up uh, we're, we're waking up night. Well, I'm waking up nice and early, but they've been sleeping in a little bit And uh, we want to get our breakfast started and to get our grocery shopping done and all that stuff today So but I was saying earlier about my, my trips I had to do to motorcycle shop and all that I spent more time in traffic than anything else here So if you you new guys coming here, it's nice cool weather here compared to places I've been but uh, the traffic is just a nightmare here so let's go <laughs> rambling on this morning this is rickshaw